to wrap a dishwasher with car vinyl. I had it custom printed the color to match my cabinets, which was an entire other process and it's all um, detailed in my blog post. Um, you have to find a shop to, to print it for you, um, which might be a difficult project on its own. Uh, you can buy finished colors already, which is a lot cheaper actually than getting it printed. Um, you have to start by prepping the dishwasher. We're going to take the handles off. Um, I think I'm going to wrap this one too, or at least try, or maybe make a custom handle for right here. Um, I have to turn the electricity off, clean the dishwasher, take the panel off, take the bottom panel off. I guess the most important thing for this project is that you clean everything really well because you do not want to have any type of dust specks and dirt under the vinyl and um, I'll show you all the uh, materials that I'm going to use and now I'm going to get started and take this apart and then we'll get to it. Just to show you, I practiced with a scrap piece or like I should say the sample pieces that I had. This is why I didn't choose the glossy. Like I said in the blog post, see, you can see the fingerprints and you can actually even see through here what was under it. I hope my dents that I have in a dishwasher won't show up with as much with the flat. And here you can see this is gonna be the problem getting it around the corners. It's heat activated, the vinyl, so um, you can stretch it and mold it a little bit and take it off with the, this is why you need the blow dryer for it. But you also, here's the note from the shop that you have to post heat it to activate the adhesive. I am going to clean it with the 70% alcohol and um, pack cloths to avoid any type of dust specks. This is, you're gonna need one of these knives. Put it in here though, so nobody, not my, my cats don't step on it and then the blow dryer for afterwards. And here is a felt squeegee that you're gonna go over, get the bubbles out, and the felt prevents it from scratching the vinyl. So let's get to it.
white screws at the bottom where the toe kick is, but otherwise I'm done. It took me about three hours, but definitely think it's worth it. And now I'm of course considering wrapping some part of my stove, but for now I'm in love with it. The poles look great too, to match the cabinets. <laughs>